Hi, it's Lisa. For those of you who have been following me on YouTube since last year, you'll know that I did an, a video series on authority nutrition and it was on the article 8 ridiculous myths about meat consumption and I was going through each of the points and just debunking each one. So I was curious about how his Facebook page was doing. Last time I checked, he had about 200,000 likes and this morning um, I woke up and I thought I'm going to check on how Authority Nutrition's Facebook page is doing. And so I went to his Facebook page and I saw that it's got over 700,000 likes. So the number of likes on his Facebook page has grown by half a million. So that means that half a million more people are being exposed to the crap that he's putting out. So for you who don't know what who Authority Nutrition is, I think um, it's a group of people now. Before it was only Chris Gunners who was writing the articles and handling the Facebook page, but apparently Chris Gunners writes the articles and he's got a whole other team of people who moderate his Facebook page. I've been blocked from his Facebook page because I posted a few of my videos on his page trying to debate with him about some of the things that he wrote in his article 8 ridiculous myths about meat consumption such as um, does meat rot in your colon I was saying yes it does and um, another thing he was saying was that saturated fat isn't harmful and that saturated fat doesn't cause diabetes and I was saying the opposite thing and I was showing studies that showed that saturated fat is harmful and causes heart disease and it does raise the risk of diabetes but he blocked me because he, he, I don't know, <laughs> he couldn't handle the truth. Um, so I was uh, looking at his page today and I saw that he shared this article called 20 Mainstream Nutrition Myths Debunked by Science by Chris Gunners. I wouldn't say that everything in this article is rubbish, but some of it definitely is. And one of them is myth number one. He writes, the healthiest diet is a low-fat, high-carb diet with lots of grains. So he's saying that that is a myth. And he is also saying that not a single study demonstrates that this diet reverses any disease. But I think, but I know, and most of you who watch my channel know that there are so many studies that show the benefits of a high-carbohydrate, low-fat, whole foods, plant-based diet. And it does reverse disease. It reverses diabetes. Isn't diabetes a disease? Um, in fact, you don't even need to be on a fully whole foods diet in order to reverse the diabetes. I've seen a study where people were fed rice, sugar, fruit, and fruit juice as much as they wanted, and they reversed their diabetes and their obesity. That's called the Walter Kempner Rice Diet. And there's more studies than that. There's Neil Bernard's studies that show that a low-fat vegan diet reverses diabetes, as well as other diseases. He's got 20 myths here, but I'll just talk about a few of them briefly, and I'll probably go into more detail about each myth that is important and that needs debunking in future videos. Another myth that he writes in this article is that egg yolks should be avoided because they are high in cholesterol which drives heart disease. So he's saying that it's a myth that egg yolks should be avoided. I'm saying that it's not a myth that it should be avoided. There's plenty of evidence that eggs are not healthy. Not just the yolks that are unhealthy but even the protein part of it. Another myth, myth number six, is that saturated fat raises LDL cholesterol in the blood increasing risk of heart attacks. And as I suspected, his main argument for saturated fat not being harmful is that saturated fats raise HDL, the good cholesterol, and change the LDL particles from small to large particles, which is linked to reduce risk. But I've seen another study that shows that all LDL particles, regardless of size, are atherogenic. And it doesn't matter if your HDL cholesterol is high. Myth number eight, eating fat makes you fat, so if you want to lose weight you need to eat less fat. And he posts this picture of bacon. This is typical of Chris Gunners and it's typical of the Authority Nutrition page. Myth number 19, sugar is mainly harmful because it supplies empty calories. So he's saying that sugar is harmful 
for other reasons as well. He's saying when consumed in excess, sugar can cause severe metabolic problems and that many experts now believe that sugar may be driving some of the world's biggest killers including obesity, heart disease, diabetes and even cancer. Sugar does not cause diabetes. I've done a few videos about sugar and sugar myths. Sugar does not cause diabetes. In fact, sugar can be used to cure diabetes. So definitely check out my other videos and do some other reading on this area. Don't believe what Authority Nutrition has to say on every single subject, especially regarding um, saturated fat and sugar. I think that he is either misinformed or just lying. And I, I don't know. Either way, I just want to expose the truth. And I did see that Vegan Gains made a video about Authority Nutrition and it was pretty funny. I watched it this morning. And Vegan Gains, if you aren't following him already, I think you should. He's got a whole range of videos that debunks the worst of the fitness industry people, including bodybuilders, bloggerlatis, Authority Nutrition. But Authority Nutrition is by far the most referenced fad diet promoting idiot that I have to encounter in the YouTube comments. Like this video if you want me to make even more videos about Authority Nutrition and let me know your thoughts. See you in my next video. Bye!